What's up, guys? Welcome to the Fantasy Addiction Network. Today we are talking James Washington, player number 98 in our top 100 skill position players of 2019. He finished the season uh, with 133.5 fantasy points that put him at number 50 amongst wide receivers. So pretty average season, but crept into the top 100. Uh, Played 14 of 15 games across weeks 1 through 16. Average 9.5 fantasy points, so nothing really that you're excited about. Um, Had a good point near the end of the season. If you look at his trend, he was uh, wide receiver 111 across uh, the first quarter and then wide receiver 87 in the second quarter, so really nothing going on in the first half of the season. But over the second half of the season, he was a wide receiver 26, so that put him in the uh, you know, high wide receiver three categories, something, you know, it was definitely on the radar and had a few good games out there where you're happy starting him, but nothing crazy. Um, this was definitely an interesting season because going into it, we were trying to determine, okay, who was going to be the wide receiver two outside of Juju Smith Schuster. And then we had, you know, Ben Roethlisberger get hurt in week two, Juju Smith Schuster missed a decent amount of time. So, uh, with Ben Roethlisberger being hurt, we had the quandary of Kyle Rudolph and Devlin Hodges throwing the ball. So we really didn't, unfortunately, didn't get too much information as to whether or not James Washington or Deontay Johnson would end up being the number two outside of Juju going forward. I do think uh, Deontay Johnson showed a bit more in his metrics that would uh, give a bit more promise going forward. But James Washington definitely had a few good games in 2019. You know, looking at his stats for the entire season, 44 receptions, 735 yards, and three touchdowns. So, you know, nothing crazy there, but averaging 16.7 yards of reception is pretty good. Um, and then when you look at the stats, as we mentioned, you know, nothing really going on in the first half of the year through week eight. Didn't even have a single game where he had over 10 fantasy points. But then, you know, jumping into the second half of the season, he had a nice game against the Rams where he had six for 90 and a touchdown. Then he had another down week. Then he played the Bengals and went three for 98 in a touchdown. Game against Cleveland next week, four for 111 in a touchdown. Then dipped back down. Another okay game uh, game against Buffalo, five for 83. So, I mean, he had multiple games where you were happy if you started him and then just some absolute duds. And there was even a point in the season where it's kind of like a trade-off between James Washington and Deontay Johnson. One would have a good game, the other one would have a stinker. But there really just wasn't enough volume in this offense with Kyle Rudolph and Devlin Hodges to really get a good sense of whether or not James Washington and Deontay Johnson can maintain you know, fantasy success across the season. Going to be different, definitely going to be interesting names to pay attention to both these guys going into 2020, especially if Ben Roethlisberger is back. I guess we don't fully know that yet, so we'll see what happens with the offseason. But assuming he is, some guys to keep a, keep an eye on because they definitely showed some promise this year. And we hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, we're going to continue recapping all top 100 skill position players, and we'll see you guys in the next video for player number 97, Jason Winton.